damn. Uh. When I was in like Jacksonville for a little appearance, like when I was like starting off in rapping, uh, my homie fucking Lil Raven, like he just gave me that name. He was like, you should be Baby Goyard. I was like, what? My name was Cole Chamberlain before. I'm from Maryland, like near Annapolis. So like Crofton, Maryland is my exact hometown. Uh, it was pretty cool. I mean, there was a lot of like fucked up shit that happened in my family because like, I mean, it was just like my mom raising me and like with my sisters and they're all so much older than me. I had to like grow up pretty quick with that. I don't know, I was super punk. Almost like some black metal shit. I like dyed my hair. I was hella emo. I love like Bring Me the Horizon, ninth grade and shit and like all time low. And then throughout I just got into like when Chief Keef came out. I was like really early in on it because I love Soldier Boy and shit. So that's like what got me. Like everybody in my high school didn't know it yet. And I was still banging that shit. And I was like, bro, I want to make some music like this. I used to be in a group called Forever World 1500. And my friend Big Baby Gucci, he got signed to Ultra. And that was like three months ago four months ago maybe and I was like always in that circle and then I came to New York because my manager um, at the time Liam like he, we, we were gonna do like the whole run of labels and like Ultra is just like the perfect fit well, Big Baby Gucci's like forever family to me. Like he's a he's one of my best friends, and like I always have respect for him because he put me on a lot, and he helped me through a lot of situations. Polari, I don't know that much. Um, I mean, I like his music, but I've been a fan for a while, but I, I haven't worked with him yet. I mean, it was pretty awesome because Brittany's like a great person. Shout out Brittany. Um, we just had a vision for it where it's the green screen of me running and type. And we all just loved it at that point. And we came into it and it was pretty easy. We stopped because it was hot as fuck that day. It was like 98 degrees and we were just like, fuck it. And then went to do the shoot again in Times Square and it was really cool. SSX stands for Stick Shooters Extreme and it's the founding members are me, Mosh and Bloody and uh, Six Locks and we just came up with it one day like to make a group and it was way before Forever World or anything it's like the first group and that's like my thing. One of my favorite is like, I am not a scrub, ain't no Donald Faison. And that's like some scrubs reference. I don't know. I think it's like pop culture is just like what I grew up on and what I love and what makes me happy. When I make a song, I really think that it like paints a picture. I want it to have like a vision when I make the song. Like, so when I make it, I'm actually visualizing something the whole time. Most of my shit has been made by myself, recorded by myself. Like, I record it all. Um, I engineer it all. I record literally in a closet in my home in North Carolina, in Rocky Mount. And it's so fucking, it's shitty. I just think it gives it that ethereal, like, future pop sound. Um, and I love sped up shit, like juke shit, and like, I love up-tempo beats. So I love shit that's like, poppy and airy. And that's what I was trying to give a feel for. Not all of my stuff is like that, but 
You know, I, that's more of the intergalactic Shannon. Baby Goyard, SSX Shannon, 2048, fucking Warboats McQuaid, like, I don't know, Shannon Westwood, all the above. And that's pretty much what I'm thinking is they all make a different sound. I think it was more in the production quality and the engineering quality because I used to literally record on like Garage Band 4 on my fucking iPhone 3 like with headphones and shit it was so corny and then like I just upgraded to a real sound system and I've been working ever since it was more of just the engineering part shout out Vivian Westwood this is like the um the sphere and the logo of it and she's like been a big icon to me and like a big influence well she's a woman's designer men's designer as well but she's like a huge punk icon and pretty much a legend in the game and um i really love her material and i love her like persona and what she's on it so this is literally the uh, flag of where I'm from, where I was born, in Annapolis. And I got that like a, a year and a half ago. And then I just got this one. The reindeer Pegasus, Little Shannon, 2038, fairy tale shit. Pretty shitty, like almost bummy, but like fashionable. Like on some time splitters to PS2, like choose your character shit. Lil Xan, fucking Matt Ox, fucking Summers. But to be honest, I don't really take it personal. I actually laugh at it. And I find all the comments funny as fuck. So like, because I'm not at all like that. And I know who I am personally. So I just find it funny. I mean, most of the time that shit's true. I'm not gonna lie to you, like, most of the time, 90% of the time, it's really facts. They're really shitty, they're like clout, like, demons, clout hoarders, clout goblins, fucking all the above. My beat selection is pretty, I like that futuristic, like, dubstep, EDM, trap shit, almost, combined into one. Um, Jules is one of my favorite mixed matches, Father Blaze, just like local people usually like, they're not big yet, but that's who I work with all the time, and they will be. I mean, I love social media, to be honest with you. I absolutely love Twitter, that's just hilarious, it's the best thing ever. Anybody who says fuck Twitter is an idiot and I can't like wait for the day when you're gonna have to pay six dollars for it for the Twitter premium and I'm gonna have the gold star already. So Twitter's funny, Instagram's good. I love social media, it's the best. Like it's what gets you here right now. Like if I sold vinyl copies of my CDs outside Nobody's gonna buy that shit, bro. I guarantee you nobody's gonna buy my CD like that. Like, on some 2004 shit. Probably, like, not on some sus shit. Like, not on some Chris Bosch shit. But, like, 12 years old, like, to 20. It's, like, a pretty big range. But a lot of young people like that. I mean, it's cool. The youth is... Shout out. Most likely a mosh pit. Someone's gonna be dancing. Someone's gonna be thrown to the ground. That's usually how it is. In five years, I see myself in a fucking Norwegian cabin making music somehow. And just made enough money to chill out there, made a pop song in like Argentina, and then just chilled out. Shout out Tom, shout out Internet Hippie, me 
in Brooklyn. I got a jewel on me at all times nowadays, but don't smoke jewels, kids, because it's bad for you. Your chest gonna hurt. 2018, 2019, until 28, until 2045, actually. That's the sense of Dang. <laughs>